Hi everyone, this is Nimei Wen from Columbia University. Today I'll present Argus, debugging performance issues in modern desktop applications with annotated code tracing. It's joint work with Peng Huang from Johns Hopkins University. Many of us have experienced frustrating performance issues, like the following. When using desktop apps, you launch a browser, type in the search bar, a spinning pinwheel suddenly appears. It's annoying to you because you don't know whether you should key on the application or wait. It's also annoying to developers because diagnosing such issues is hard. To find out when the spinning pinwheel occurs, we may try debugging tools like the spin dump and LRDB in macOS. After checking the tedious cost X, we can see a thread is blocked in a condition variable, but the output cannot tell when it happens. We may also try running providers such as macOS instruments. Unfortunately, they are not helpful either because the most costly function is not the root cause. One reason for the diagnosis challenge is the execution of modern desktop applications usually involve multiple components. They communicate with demons, services, and help tools. They also divide the processing of a user input into highly concurrent tasks. As a result, we need to reason about the complex causalities among many tasks. One promising technique to tackle this complex multi-component diagnosis problem is causal tracing. The community has extensively looked into causal tracing in distributed systems and mobile apps. But there's not much attention on desktop application diagnosis. So we designed to investigate this important problem and try to apply causal tracing to desktop apps. To give you some background, this slide shows an example of causal tracing. Causal tracing divides the processing of requests in the system into execution segments in threads. In this figure, each horizontal line stands for one thread. Each execution segment along the line typically represents the execution of some function in the thread. The edge represents one segment causes another. The goal of causal tracing is to construct a graph representing the causalities among the many execution segments over time. For example, the handler of the input event initiates an async task. The async task thread asks the service thread to finish an RPC request. After the async task finishes, it invokes an UI update. Similarly, the handler of the input event dispatches I.O. request to the work thread. Later, the work thread finishes the I.O. request and initiate another UI update. When we apply the causal tracing to desktop apps, we find it's often difficult to identify the accurate boundaries of execution segments. In other words, it's hard to tell when the thread begins processing a request. This will introduce inaccuracies in the trace graph. Moreover, some execution segments have multiple incoming edges, which mislead the diagnosis. This figure shows a simplified causal tracing graph for the Chromium case. Chromium sends a message to Font D, which is a daemon in macOS, to make fonts available. The main thread of Font D processes the message and sends a message to its work thread. Later, the work thread invokes an asynchronous call. The main thread executes the callback function. However, this function applies batch processing of messages from multiple applications. For example, it includes messages from Audi, a third-party app, and the system preferences, a service tool in macOS. As a result, these unrelated applications also get connected to the trace graph. During diagnosis, we have to examine many unrelated segments and draw wrong conclusions. In general, 
the inaccuracy in existing causal tracing graph include both overconnections and underconnections. Overconnections at unrelated edges to the graph, like the example in Cromion case. Underconnections miss some important edges. We summarize several program patterns that lead to inaccuracies. For the details of these program patterns, please refer to our paper. Why inaccuracies occur in tracing desktop apps? This is because existing causal tracing tools usually assume the software is a white box and the notation is easy. All program paradigms are recognized correctly. However, desktop apps usually have closed source components and apply custom program paradigms. So can we fix all the inaccuracies with additional instrumentation? In principle, yes, but it's not practical because supporting all program paradigms correctly is hard. The overhead of excessive instrumentation is not acceptable to desktop apps. Desktop apps requires responsiveness. The choice of diagnosing algorithm also matters for causal tracing's effectiveness. We applied the typical critical path analysis to chromium case. The green dot line is the result of critical path analysis. The analysis will blame the large execution segment in form D. But form D is not the root cause. The result on the critical path analysis is distorted due to the batch processing. The real root cause is the live lock bug inside the chromium. To summarize, our key insight is that while causal tracing is promising to diagnose performance issues in desktop applications, applying it directly introduces inherent inaccuracies. Eliminating the inaccuracies completely is not practical. The causal tracing graph and the diagnosis algorithm need to tolerate inaccuracies. With the key insight, we designed Argus. Argus has three components the Argus Tracer, Grapher, and Debugger. We implement Argus Tracing in Mac OS. Our Argus Tracing implementation follows the principle of existing causal tracing. We instrumented the call libraries to trace user input events and the typical asynchronous calls. We also patch the kernel for more tracing points. The tracer will produce trace logs like the existing causal tracing tools. We then feed the logs into Argus Grapher. We design an algorithm in Argus Grapher. It annotates the tracing graph to mitigate inaccuracies. Last, Argus runs its beam search based diagnosis algorithm to identify root causes of performance issues. In the end, Argus reports the root cause vertex to the developer for further debugging. Let's begin from the Argus Grapher. Argus Grapher annotates tracing graphs to mitigate inaccuracies. This is an overconnected execution segment from Chromium. The segment has several applications involved. Some of them are unrelated to each other. For example, the Audi and the Chromium. First, Argus needs to split the segment. It does so by checking the communication messages. They are shown as arrows in the graph. When Argus finds the event in the segment, communicates with a new application. It divides the segment. In this example, the segment is divided into five smaller ones. But how can we confirm the divided segments are processing different requests? We cannot. So Argus introduces edge types to annotate the graph. It uses weak edges to prevent the overspread of the segment. The weak edge means Argus is not certain whether the two segments have causality or not. In case we have a hint of their causality, for example, the only app launches its system preferences, Argus turns the weak edge into a boosted weak edge to increase the certainty of causality. We go back to the Chromium case with the annotation rules. The trace graph is annotated like this. The batch processing segment is split and annotated with weak edges. Argus mitigates the inaccuracies, but it does not eliminate all inaccuracies. So an inaccuracy-tolerant diagnosis algorithm is still needed. 
to find the codal path of performance anomaly. So we designed the beam search based diagnosis algorithm to obtain codal passes in algorithm debugger. The searching algorithm goes back and forth in two phases. In the expanding phase, Argus explores all possible paths. And in the pruning phase, Argus selects the most possible codal paths based on the annotation of the edges. Generally, it prefers strong edges over weak edges. The beam width designs how many codal paths Argus will get in the end. The loopback step is the parameter to set how many steps a path will explore in each expanding phase. In the Chromium example, it begins from the anomaly segment and searches backward. To make it simple, we expand the graph in a tree structure here. Argus first explores all possible paths, and then selects the most possible paths. It repeats the process until it reaches a user input event or a dead end. For some complex performance issues, only analyzing the abnormal trace graph is not enough. For example, in the Chromium case, diagnosis on the abnormal trace graph reveals suspicious vertex E star, which represents timeout in the browser process. But it cannot for a pinpoint the root cause of E star. To handle such cases, Argus Grapher produces a trace graph from the normal execution as a baseline. We then designed a subgraph comparison algorithm. In this case, the algorithm identifies vertex E in the baseline graph, which has similar event sequences in E star. But E is vocal normally and the result in the vertex A. The algorithm then runs the beam search based codal path analysis to figure out why vertex A does not appear in the anomaly graph. It reveals the missing of vertex B is the reason for A's absence. It expects B here, but J was broken here instead. Finally, it pinpoints J as the root cause. We evaluate the effectiveness of Argus with 12 real-world performance bugs. All bugs from well-known apps. All of their ground truths are unknown to us before evaluation, although some apps have source codes available. All diagnosis runs on binary release. Developers do not need to modify their code. Their root causes are verified with dynamic patches or confirmed by the developers. We compare ARGs with traditional diagnosis tools like the spin dump and the instruments. We also compare ARGs with the state-of-art codal tracing tools like AppInsign and Panaptican. ARGs successfully diagnoses all the cases, while other tools fail on complex performance issues. We successfully submitted a patch to fix one of them with the result of Argus. We evaluate the diagnosis performance of Argus. The Y axis is the time is second, and the X axis is the ID of 12 real world performance issues. The result shows most of the diagnosis time is spent on graph construction, which ranges from within a minute to several hours, depending on the size of tracing rocks. The diagnosis algorithm is fast. It finishes within three minutes. Because we support always on tracer in the system, we evaluate how much overhead the tracer added to the system. We evaluate with Chromium benchmarks. The X axis stands for the workload from the benchmark, and the Y axis stands for the time. The red and blue bar stands for the time cost of the workload with our tracer always on. The green and the purple bars stands for time cost without Argus tracing in the system. The main difference is in the sys time, because Argus collects data from the tracing points in the kernel. The overall system overhead is within 5%. To conclude, diagnosing performance issues in desktop is important, but was under-investigated. Existing codal tracing is inaccurate when applied to desktop apps. We find both overconnections and underconnections. Several program patterns can lead to the inaccuracy. Diagnosis algorithm leads to total inaccuracies. So we design Argus, an annotated codal training tool for diagnosing performance issues on desktop apps using inaccuracy tolerant diagnosis algorithm. The source code is available in the GitHub. This is the related work. Thank you for listening.